So it was February 4th, I went in the candor office, as usual, just trying to help out my fellow editors. And then, all of a sudden, I was on the far right computer and the phone rang, and so I picked it up, and it was the escape editor who told me that Dr. Nordine had passed away the previous night, and I was, I was just in shock, and then I asked why he had passed, and supposedly he had been at his home, had four legs, his daughter was visiting, and he was running on the treadmill like he usually does, and had a heart attack. And then the rest of the weekend, it was just oh, unbelievably chaotic. I mean, that day in and of itself was just seemed like seemed like a week. Because after that phone call, I proceeded to call everyone I knew at Benedictine, alumni who used to be at Benedictine, who you know were students under him or were on the candor working with him. It probably went on for about two hours straight at least. It was just me talking to people and people calling back, and it just it just was. Emotionally, it was probably one of the toughest days I've ever had in my life. And then, just like the rest of the staff, I had to move on and we had to put a paper together. And it was one of the most unusual papers because because of what happened, we had to change the entire front page. Because, I mean, that was the news of the week. And we had to do it and we didn't want to put his face in front of the paper, put his date of birth, date of death, because he wouldn't have wanted that. Instead, we just, um, we just had his office door and we put a post-it note and we'll miss you. Dr. Dean was the heart and soul of the paper. Yeah, at the time, he was no longer the advisor, but he had worked on that paper for 15 years. He'd be the n number one person to go for guidance as far as writing, layout, whatever, and he just knew his stuff. As a communication arts professor, he just knew his stuff, and, and it's a great loss when we, we lost him.